This is Brian. <clears throat> I just want to say thank you, Yoda Tech. Without you guys there on the forum, a lot of this stuff wouldn't have been possible. I've got a 94 and an 86. 86 is just about done, not the body. Uh, mechanical, mechanically wise, uh, it's just about done. So I'll get a little more uh, into detail when I'm done with this video because I had a big, it was a real pain in the ass to get my heater working. Uh, so I'll go into a little more detail later, but for now, uh, what it boiled down to, I replaced the core, I replaced the valve, I replaced all my heater hoses, I cleaned out the blower, uh, and I still had no freaking heat in my heaters. It would heat up for a little bit, then it'd go back to cool air. So, uh, without further ado, this is what it ended up being. Air pockets in my cooling system. Instead of 100% water or, uh, you know, antifreeze and water, or well, 50-50, anyway, whatever. Uh, instead of it completely full of coolant, I had a whole shit ton of air pockets in the block and the hoses, what have you. I tried filling the radiator up multiple times and I just, you know, uh, I didn't know what I was doing. So uh, after lots of research, I found out that it was, you know, air in the system. I tried taping like a heater hose right here and attaching it to the funnel, running the truck, filling it up as it was running, as the thermostat would open, it would bubble up and I would fill it up more and it was just made a big mess and I was unsuccessful. I ran into this video of how to do this thing and this has been working great. I've been running the heater with the fan and it's still nice and hot in the cab. Uh, but I still got air coming out so I don't know what's going on there. But anyway, very simple. I have some of this, uh, I don't even know how, why I had this shit. You know, clear uh, vinyl or nylon tubing, uh, vinyl tubing. I cut off a section of that because I wanted to, the same, the same stuff the other guy used in his video, I just happened to have some. Because if you use it, you can see the, the coolant. So you take your radiator cap, and this is off my 94, just in case I ruined it, I wanted to ruin the one for the 94. Where's the other one? Oh my god. Sorry. If you're going to do a video, be a little more prepared. So basically I took uh, some wire and you could use whatever you have laying around and you uh, you put it in between there to hold this little this thing up. That's going to allow flow from the radiator to the overflow tank or the reservoir. If I just let it go, it's flat. Once you open it up like that, just wedge something in there it'll keep it open again it'll allow flow to the overflow tank you take you just connect your overflow tank I have an aftermarket one yours is probably plastic you hook up your vinyl tubing and then I hooked it up to a little funnel I had taped it and poured cooling coolant in there and you could see all the air escaping from my cooling system now I've been running it for about 25 to 30 minutes now and I still have air. When I first did it, the air pockets were freaking huge. There was just air, air coming out like crazy. And the coolant level kept dropping all the way down so I filled it up again, rinse and repeat. And now I've just got all these little air pockets. I don't know where this air is coming from. Maybe somebody can comment on my video. I'm about to just shut it off because the coolant level has been pretty consistent right there. It hasn't dropped down anymore. I let it drop down about three times, filled it up one more time, and it's just sat there. Uh, it'll fluctuate a little bit, but you know, I, I still have air coming out, but it's nothing like it was when I first started. So again, maybe I have, uh, I don't know how this works yet. I'm still new to mechanics, but maybe I have air coming in from somewhere else. Um, I don't know. Hopefully maybe somebody can comment on that. But anyway, it's nothing like it was you know, half an hour ago, there was so much air coming out. Now there's just little, 
air pockets every once in a while. And again, the coolant's been staying right there at about the top. Before, I'd fill it up to the top and it would go all the way down into the block and then I did it two or three more times and it's been sitting there for about, like I said, the last, I don't know, probably 15 minutes it's been sitting right there. Anyway, now I have heat and I'm gonna shut it off. I don't know what I'm gonna do right now, how I'm gonna keep air from getting back in once I shut it off and, and take all this apart, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. Uh, anyway, that's it guys. That solved my heating issue and you know, hopefully this helps you know, some of the other guys out. Anyway, have a good one. Thanks for watching.